Hi, I'm Drake Copeland. I'm a technical service manager with FMC. And today I'm in Oxford, Ohio, specifically in a soybean field that got planted on April 27th this year. So this crop's been through quite a few cold spells, uh, but things are looking up now. And the main reason I'm here today is it actually got a uh, post application of Anthemax about three or four weeks ago. So from a residual control standpoint, this field looks great. But it brought up some questions and calls that we've been receiving you know, how late can we spray Anthem Max in the season? And actually before the 2020 growing season, we did make some changes to our label. So now we can actually spray Anthem Max and soybeans from pre-plant all the way to that V6 growth stage. So it really makes you think about those situations if yourself or a customer of yours has wider row spacing soybeans, um, there's a lot of time until canopy closure. So he needs plenty of options to spray so we can overlap residuals for weed control. And we can do that until V6 now. So that, that, that opens up that opportunity specifically on acres like that. But there's also guys who are just struggling to get the, the crop struggled early on and it's, it's now at V6 and the field's laid wet and they can just now get into the field and spray and we're good to go there too. Um, but it also brought up something else, that, you know, something to be cautious of. You know, we're getting into July and there's chemistries that we spray today that aid us in weed control across all the herbicide seed uh, trait platforms. And specifically, I'm talking about ALS chemistries and PPO chemistries, specifically Femesifen. So if you look at those labels, there's rotation intervals that, to corn where we've got to wait a certain amount before we plant. And those typically run nine to 10 months. So check your labels on what you're spraying. But you know, we're in July, you think nine, 10 months from now, we're getting to April or May of next year. So it's just something to be aware of. Um, read those labels and make sure that we're putting the applications up now because the later we get into July make those, uh, making those applications, the slimmer error for margin that we have. So just something to be mindful of. And one more thing, because we've opened up that window with Anthem Max to V6 and soybeans, there I've had people ask, you know, if there are carryover issues to corn. And the answer is no. You know, with Anthem Max, we're labeled in both corn and soybeans. The only crop that we would be planting behind soybeans, you know, in a situation that I'm into now, this field will probably go to wheat this fall, is that rotation interval. And that one is only a month. At the three and a quarter ounce rate over the top of soybeans, they want to, we want, the label says we need to wait a month before we plant a wheat crop. So just to touch and review on a few things that I just went over, Anthem Max, we can spray over the top of soybeans to the V6 growth stage. We're now in July, there's still fields that need herbicides to be sprayed, um, but be mindful of what you're spraying and what you're gonna plant next year because there may be a rotation interval that you need to be aware of. And then also with Anthem Max, the rotational uh, intervals, if we're talking a corn, soybean, wheat rotation, there's really no concerns. The only one is that I mentioned earlier, that month plant back to wheat. So that's all I have for today. Thank you for watching.